Hi, I'm Will from Unleashed. In this video, we're going to look at the average weighted method and we're gonna look at how that is managed within Unleashed. So what I've got here is a product that I've created in Unleashed called 40 kilo bag of Easy Mix Cement. What I'm gonna do, or what we're gonna to do together, is we're going to raise a purchase order for this product and then we're gonna add some costs and then receipt that purchase order and then look at what the total cost on that product is. So what is the average weighted cost on the product? We're then gonna go and do another purchase order and then receipt that purchase order and then we'll see how that impacts the average weighted cost of the products. This is a really good practical example so you can see in action how the average weighted method is calculated. So, let's jump in, we'll check it out. So here I am in Unleashed under the product, the 40 kilo bag of Easy Mix Cement. On the right hand side you'll see that I have no stock on hand for this product. If I click into sale here you can see that my average landed cost is zero and that's because I've never done a purchase order for this product. It's a brand new product that I've just set up. All I've done is I've configured the pricing tiers for our different types of customers. Now let's go and do a purchase order. To do that I'm just going to come up the top and go add purchase. And our supplier for this product is Steel and Tube. So I'm just going to put Steel and Tube here. Brings up the details for the supplier. Then I'm going to add the product here, which is 40 kilo cement. So it's $9.50 a bag we purchase it for. So let's get 10 bags and then hit add. And you can see when I come down the bottom here, we've got $95 plus our taxes on this order here coming to $109.25. So I can place this order now, and I can send this purchase order, which is just downloaded for me. I can send this off to our supplier. Now, what we can do now is we can either receipt this order as is, or we can associate costs with this order, which we can do down here. Costs are any costs associated with bringing that product into our warehouse. A really common one is freight. So sometimes the supplier will bundle freight into the price of their product and they'll ship it at no charge. Other times we need to organize a freight supplier. So for example, DHL. So to bring these 10 bags of cement in, it's actually quite a heavy product. So let's say that our, our freight charge ended up being $50, which is quite significant on a $95 order, right? So it's almost half the cost. So we've got down the bottom here, you see that the product order is $95. We've got a $50 freight charge, plus we've got our taxes on both the order and the freight. So the total amount that we're paying is $166.75 for this order. So what I'm gonna do now is hit receipt. And then I'm going to just confirm what I'm bringing in. It's saying, yes, I want 10 items out of the 10 that I ordered. Hit complete and then hit yes. Great, so now I've brought that stock into my warehouse and all of my relevant invoices have gone through to my accounting system. If I jump back into the product now and then hit refresh, I'll go to the details menu and then hit refresh. You'll notice now we've got 10 units on hand, the total stock value of $145, and that's because we had $95 of product cost and $50 of freight cost. So that ends up being our total cost of all of our stock. That's why it's called average landed costs. Although we're talking about average weighted costs, it's average landed costs as well. That's how much it costs to land us our stock in our warehouse. Now let's go up here and we can see that our average landed cost is actually $14.50 per unit. Although we buy it at $9.50, it's cost us $14.50 to bring that into our warehouse. So we've got our average landed cost, which is our average weighted cost, is $14.50. Let's go do another purchase order. So I'm gonna go add purchase, we're gonna add another one here. Same supplier, steel and tube. products here which was our 40 kilo bag of easy mix cement. We'll order 10 units again, we'll keep that consistent. Hit add. Well, what I'm going to do this time after I place the order, so hit place, send that off to our supplier. So we're going to add our supplier this time, DHL. But rather than charging us $50, let's say that their cost has gone up and now it's $80 to bring this in and then hit add. So a bit more expensive than our last one. So then I'll hit receipt and then confirm that we brought 10 units in and then hit complete just like that. Perfect, so that's all been receipted now. So if I jump back into our product and then hit refresh, we should have 20 units on hand now. Just like that, 20 units on hand. Our stock value was is now $320. Now when I check out our average landed cost in here, it's likely of 
it's gone up from that $14.50. As you can see now, our average lander cost is now $16. So the last order we did, so the last cost here was $17.50 as opposed to the $14.50 for the other ones, so our average lander cost is now $16 for all 20 units. So this just beautifully highlights how average weighted cost works. We bought our first lot of product in at $14.50 per unit, and then our second lot of product in at $17.50 per unit. So when we have our average weighted cost, that's looking at the total cost, which is $320, and dividing it by the 20 units we have on hand to arrive at $16 per unit that is average weighted costs. I hope that was a useful demo. If you'd like to learn more about the concept in general, there's a link to a short explainer video here. If you'd like to learn more about Unleashed itself, you can click through to a webinar page for a more in-depth tour.